Welcome everybody. So my name is Andreas Meyer and I'm the host of the Pattern Recognition Symposium. This semester we had this symposium completely online, which is the reason why I can present to you a selection of presentations now in this online format. The next presentation will be given by Chang Liu and it's entitled Investigations on Deep Learning CT Reconstruction for Real-Time Dose Optimization. So Chang, the stage is yours. Good afternoon everyone and uh, thanks Andreas for the introduction. My name is Chang and uh, my topic for today is investigation on deep learning CT reconstruction for real-time dose optimization. Now let's begin. First of all, let's have a quick recap about um, tube current modulation in CT. Conventional tube current modulation adjusts tube current according to each projection. So um, in this figure, we can see here the attenuation of uh, the path of X-ray attenuation at position A is apparently shorter than that from um, position B. So in order to so it means we can modulate the um, the tube current at position A to be lower so that the dose exposed to the patient can be reduced. And in contrast, we can somehow increase the tube current at position B so that the image quality can be preserved. Similarly, in the longitudinal direction, we can also modul modulate the tube current according to the average, the average attenuation of each Z position. Mm. In, this, in this way, we can somehow optimize the dose, we, um, the dose exposed, exposed to the patient during the CT scan. However, conventional tube current modulation treat all human parts equally. That means the differences between organs and uh, maybe other human, human tissues are not considered at all. So one idea to further improve the conventional tube TCM is to take to take the dose of each organ into consideration, which I called organ-specific TCM, um, which, um, which, is, which is also um, what my PhD topic will be about. So um, our plan is that before CT scanning, we reconstruct the CT volume from topogram, from sparse view, uh, sparse view projections, or even topogram. And uh, with the sparse view reconstruction, we segment the organs using multi-organ segmentation. And uh, at the same time, we estimate the dose, 3D dose in. 3D dose distribution using deep dose estimation. And uh, combining the location and area of organs and the 3D dose distribution, we can get the organ specific dose. And here, the challenges, um, the current challenges are first, sparse view CT volume reconstruction, which gives us a um, an initial um, an initial volume for 
um, multi-organ segmentation and uh, deep dose estimation. And uh, the second challenge is um, for me is multi-organ segmentation. And um, in this talk, my investigation is mainly about the first challenge. And here, my investigation is mainly about the sparse view reconstruction using AutoMap. AutoMap is short for Automated Transform by Manifold Approximation, which is proposed in 2018 in Nature. And it is a generic deep learning framework for image reconstruction. And here, and here I, um, uh, here is the architecture of AutoMap, and we can see the manifold from the sensor to the image domain is linked by three fully connected layers and uh, three convolutional layers. And here, I replaced the sensor domain here, I mean the complete sensor domain here to the incomplete sensor domain, which is um, according to different sparse, different sparse view condition. And uh, I hope, um, or we hope, <laughs> or we hope the automap can still reconstruct the reconstruct the um, the tomography the tomography from the sparse view sensor domain and in my experiment I used two datasets the first is minist dataset which is used for proof of concept and uh, I also used um, 12 city volumes um, to demonstrate the um, sparse view reconstruction of medical images. And here, two sparse view conditions are investigated. And the first, the projection from 0, 45, 90, and 135 degrees, a projection, a, a projection, um, degree of projections are selected as sparse view projection. And uh, the second um, sparse view condition, uh, we on, I, only, I only select the projection from zero and 90 degrees. And in addition, I split the minister data set in two strategies uh, for training and testing data set. And the first is random split, and the second is to uh, exclude one digit for testing and uh, all others for training. Um, in the result, it proves that such splitting strategies um, do produce very interesting results. And here is my result. And we can see um, here's the result of sorry here's the result of minist uh, sparse view reconstruction and we can see when we use four projections automap can reconstruct a uh, course um, can reconstruct the original image but uh, in um, but with some distortion and when we use Two projections um, on the left on the left side. AutoMap can still can still reconstruct the digit with a comparatively correct shape. However, on the right side, um, some strange things happen. <laughs> some strange things happens, and the digit of two. Are reconstruct to digit of three, five, and here maybe six or maybe five, which means the sparse view reconstruction from AutoMap is um, is false. It's not it's not bad, but false. The digit 
and which also means the manifold um, the manifold leads the the sparse sparse projections to some um, to some um, non-related some to some non-related um, or original images, which is not very good. And here, the, we can see if we use if we use two projections, and we exclude the digit one digit from testing, the false rate is over ninety percent, which is really crazy. And also, I trained AutoMap using medical images, and that is a tough um, city volumes. And we can see here the cause um, the cause the cause um, shape the cause shape of the city volume is well reconstructed however however some um, some organs and the structures and the structures are missing in the reconstruction um, which means the auto map the ultimate sparse view reconstruction um, is not very good at detail the reconstruction of details. Okay, so here we come to the conclusion and outlook. And in my investigation, Ultimap shows the robustness in sparse view reconstruction. However, some details and uh, and in CT reconstruction, that is, organs are missing. And uh, however, the body outlines are uh, comparatively good reconstructed. And uh, in future, in the future, um, I think the model architecture can be further optimized. Since I, um, I almost used the original AutoMap from the uh, from the automap publication and uh, also since some details some important details are simply missing so maybe it is it will be interesting that we transform the automap to a generative to a generative architecture so that the details can somehow be um, better reconstructed. So that concludes my talk. Thanks for your listening. And uh, do you have any questions?